Sesh Podcast, episode 141, take one. Hi, friends, and welcome back to The Sesh. I am Kendall. <laughs> and I'm to know. You always make fun of my intros. I don't know why, but it makes me laugh. I sometimes. like to switch it up. Because like, What was right, funny about this week? Literally right before we record, we're just like on our laptops or whatever. Like Kendall's video just premieres. We're on the <laughs> premiere. And then all of a sudden it's like, all right, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. This is my first laugh. time premiering a video. Know, it's I'm fun. distracted. Premieres are fun. They are really fun. I love yeah, we're trying to do that people. for like all of our channels. Mm-hmm. But you guys, we've been doing it for the sesh for a while and you guys love it. Yeah, I love our sesh premiere right. chat. It's so Lit. fun it's to like best. actually join you guys and like see it with you. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it's like, oh, it's real time. Oh, real, it is real, real time. Real Some people think that it's actually like I know, live. that's the biggest confusion. I would probably think that too yeah, if I didn't same. know. Especially with a podcast. With an edited video, it's yeah. more easy to catch on. But when you're watching a podcast, it's like, mm. are they live? Which, by the way, we, if you haven't caught one of our premieres, we're premiering on YouTube and it goes live at 12. 11 PST, 12 MST. We Very try to say PST because more people know yeah. the things, you know? Shut up, um, Siri. But sometimes, sometimes there's just like <laughs> complications and we have to like move yeah, it out a yeah, little bit. Yeah, once in a while. But yeah. usually we try and get it up by noon though. Yes. So well, how are you time. guys doing today? Oh, welcome I've to August. I've never been better. It's August when this is... I hate that. Why? It's, it's your, your birthday, birthday month. Yeah. It's the end of the summer. But now you're an adult, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, it does because oh, of the... the weather. I hate the cold and it's depressing. Mm-hmm. It's going to get dark again in a few months. And that is the worst. It's the worst thing ever. It is. So no, I'm not I'm not thrilled. I'm not. Thrilled. And I don't care. I'm turning 29. It's like so lame. 29. You're almost an adult. You're starting your 30th year. What? That's how that works. Yeah, I love well, explaining this to people. It's always a big again. shock. Oh, yeah, I guess you're starting your first year the second you're born. Yep. That's terrible, too. So 30th year. Technically, you're 30. You, technically, you're 31. That's true. <laughs> I'm on my 31st year. <laughs> I know. I don't like thinking about that. But. I like it when we're the few months between April and August when we're technically two numbers apart. Yes. It's fun. I'm only 28, mm-hmm. baby. That was always so hard for me to understand as a kid. Well, like, sometimes I'm, I'm two, two years, years older than Janelle. Sometimes I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, at least Holly's. Well, so she's entering her second year of life. How do you feel yeah. about that? On, by the time this goes up, she'll, she'll already be, be one. one. I feel an array happy of emotions. Birthday, bear, it's happy so birthday. emotional, dude. Yeah. Tell us about the first year of, of being a mother and like having this this little human as yours. It's been, it's like far exceeded my expectations. She's just so awesome and she's becoming more and more funny she is and communicating with us in her own little ways and getting sassy is she definitely getting a little sassy <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. god she was it's funny you can put them to bed and they'll be in a good mood and then wake them up and they'll be in a whole ass different mood or vice versa <laughs> they can be in a bad mood going to a nap and like then they can wake human. up but it's like Regular crazy <laughs> i we went to the pool yesterday and she was having a good old time great day great mood Put her down for a nap. I, and I let her sleep for two and a half hours because I knew she was tired from the pool and everything. But then, it, you know, it was like 5.15. I was like, all right, girl, you got to get up. Woke her up pissed. Just like not having it. I'd be pissed too. She looked like groggy. And then she was pissed all night. Mm-hmm. We took her out well, to dinner and she was like. A sweet tr- sleeping person from their nap. Well, she's got to have her dinner. She can't just go to bed at three. <laughs> I did yesterday. Went to bed at three. Yeah, I literally slept for. Like almost like I slept for like sixteen hours yesterday. Damn, that's fucking oh. awesome. I had I had so much like catching up to do though. Mm, I what so I wouldn't much catching do up for that sixteen hours of sleep. But that also is the hardest part of parenthood. I, I kind of hated it though. Not gonna lie, because like my entire Sunday went to waste. So I'm like, that is true. I waste so much less time as a parent now because I actually get up and get my day going. I used to sleep in so late every day. I was pissed on Saturday because. I woke up at 7.45 and then couldn't go back to bed and I was fucking mad at myself. In the PM Ooh. or the AM? AM. Ugh. I'm like, what the hell is this crap? This is your, you get two days a week to sleep in <laughs> and you didn't take advantage of it. So annoying. I woke up at 7.45 too. Yeah, but you have a kid. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I had nothing to do. I was just laying there like, hey, well, not cool. even Charlie wanted to go out. Mm-hmm. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, yes. and then we had a wedding that night, so you're probably mm-hmm. tired. No, I'm fine now. Luckily, I've been, I got good sleep on Sunday. That's nice. I woke up at like, nine and then went back to bed till like eleven thirty. was awesome oh, i love that mm, that's lit mm-hmm. i don't even remember what that's like damn that sucks <laughs> it does but it's all worth it it really is 
I can't believe she's turning one. It's like I said, I'm in like denial about it. I know. It's crazy. I'm in major denial about like getting all of her clothes that don't fit her out of the closet. I just cannot bring myself to do it. Every day I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to get the old stuff put in a box. I'm mm. like, I just can't do it. I'm like, she's still kind of, I can squeeze her in some of these. <laughs> <laughs> she's just, uh, I love her so much. So you girl. Are you going to keep her clothes? Or are you going I thought to? Gonna, um... Are you going to keep her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Your warranty's running out Warrant- in one year. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to keep her clothes? Or are you going to like, are you going to like keep some of it? I'm like, keeping, well, I tried last time I did a big sweep of her closet. I was like, okay, I'll put the ones I'm going to donate in its own pile. But then I kept like everything because it's all so cute. And I have memories attached to each piece of clothing. I'm like, oh, this is what she wore when she did this and that. And so I just want to keep it all. And I'm like, maybe we'll have another girl. And yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, I would just dress a boy in her clothes too. Yeah. They're so <laughs> cute. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like very bittersweet. But I'm really excited for the toddler era. I know everyone's like terrible twos, terrible toddler. And I know that it's going to be different, but... I think it's so much more rewarding because they are communicating. I can't wait to see her walk. I can't wait to hold her hand and like walk down the street and or hear her little voice like "Mommy, yes, like, let's go to the park." Or yes, whatever. which she does say "Mama" very occasionally, like once a week, maybe if I'm lucky. But she says "Dad, Dad" all day. Aww. But she calls me "Dad, Dad" too. <laughs> she doesn't really get it. But that's like her word, "Dad, Dad." Is and it because it's all, like, like phonetically and she's like so "Dad, Dad"? Cute. Is it just it's easier? For them. Oh. Yeah. I'm- it is, which duh. I was offended at first, but then I looked it up. Well, like, it is easier to say da. Yeah. So now she ma. says mama, but it's just like a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> but do you think she knows like that she's what that means? And no, she's just like, happy I mean, she even calls our nanny like dad. dad. She says it she's to anybody. Yeah, 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 she's just babbling. Oh, she's babbling. I think she does. I mean, Cute sometimes girl. she will specifically at Josh say dad, dad, or like, I'll be like, where's dad, dad? And she's like, looks at Josh and it's like, dad, dad. It's oh the cutest God. thing. Uh, it's seriously the best having a kid, like mm. just getting to see them become this. I read something the other day that's like, what's the best part of your of having a child? Watching them grow up. What's the worst part? Watching, watching them, them grow, grow up. up. Uh, I feel like that's <laughs> I so true. I cry right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. Aww. But many good memories ahead. We're going to have a birthday party for her. We're doing a pickle themed birthday yeah, party. <laughs> I'm so excited. All you guys are going to be there. I'm so excited this for this. Sunday. Yeah, I'm so excited to see her. Pickle party. We did a little pickle shoot for her over the weekend. Like, got out all the jars of pickles. Girl loves the camera. Oh, she does. She works it. Well, she is a Leo. She works it. Mm -hmm. She loves her spotlight. She is. She is a Leo. She's so funny. God, she could just eat pickles for every meal. It's crazy. Like, yeah, can't even judge So good. Mm -hmm. I'm so So happy she loves them. Me too. I'm like, mm. this is great. She's going to love she pickle really shots my one day. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Auntie's going to take her to get drunk at a bar with pickle shots. You better be careful out there. Why? Because mama's going to come get your ass. And get drunk with us? The fuck? I'm true. not anything happen to her. It's pickle shots. <laughs> I know. True, true, true. You'll be old by then. I'll be You'll like, be 40 something. Okay. That's really <laughs> rude. <laughs> it's true. I can't even think about that. I know. Sick. Okay. Aging is beautiful. You're right, Kendall. Our audience out there who is over the age of 30, over the age of 40, over the age of 50, tell us why that age is I get anxiety wonderful. about aging. I know. Who doesn't? True. Closer to death. But exactly. hey, <laughs> more experience too. John's dad always says, that's the way it's supposed to go. You're supposed to it get is. older. That is the natural I'm way like, of life. You know light. what, Mark? You're freaking right, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like the more time you spend stressing over it, the, the more it's horrible you know you gotta just embrace Isn't it that life in general the more you stress about something the worse it gets that's right <laughs> so don't stress problem solved <laughs> be that happy is the solution so just i just tell myself stressed. just don't worry about it and then mm-hmm. i never think about it ever again never have a problem remember like a month ago i went through this whole phase where i'm like i'm not gonna stress anymore no let more it, stress let for them, me the let them era the let them era How long yeah I, I tried that it lasted about a week okay I'm back to stress and I'm back aboard, aboard the uh, stressy caboose and <laughs> and it's not going not well. just letting people the toxic <laughs> stress train talks. I had a dream. She came back on YouTube. Really? Yep. What did she say? She was like on, vlogging and everything and everyone was just she like, just tried to ignore it. Yeah. Mm. Like she just came back. We were like, damn, she really is back. Do you think she's going to come back? No, I don't think I don't so think either. she's going to. I don't think I don't she think can. She should. <laughs> I think that's no. the end of that. Um, That was yeah. like the worst cancellation I've ever seen in my life. Mm hmm. So deserved made other people's cancellations look like nothing. Yeah. So no, it's so true. I think uh, she's going to be off the internet forever. Yeah. 
I would agree. We'll see. I would agree. But anyway, oh, today we're going to have some fun. We have another fun activity Let's wait going to bring on. Our prop for okay. our segment. All right. Corelli has created another prop for us, and we are going to see how smart Janelle and I are, which is don't expect much, people. Whoops. We've done this before. <laughs> we're playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Mm-hmm. And last time we determined we were not. Was not. Couldn't mm-hmm. say I was. It's been about a year since we played that game. Maybe I've probably gotten dumber since then, honestly. <laughs> probably. I was going to say, maybe at this point, like, you know, we've. You know, we've gotten a little smarter collectively. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see about yeah. that. Uh, not smart. Um, yeah, it'll be fun, though. Carly made a brilliant prop for us. Mm-hmm. We're very excited about that. Yes, it's going to be fantastic. So uh, what do we have today, you guys? Well, what's going on in the world? Did you see, um, uh, what's her name? Carly Russell? Her mugshot. Oh, you said yeah. Corelli Russell. <laughs> Corelli Russell's mugshot, baby. <laughs> Carly Russell's mugshot. Yeah, let's pull it up. Yike. You think she's gonna face jail time? Mm, I think she would maybe do like a month. Yeah, like a short amount of yeah, time. Like max. I can't remember exactly what Sherry Papine's got. She got more than a month. Yeah, she did. Wait. Can can we can I just say though, the mugshot kind of slays. She's she looks really pretty in the mugshot. Yeah, except for that's not really the point of a mugshot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she, I think she's like into it though. She has good skin. She has really good skin. It's really clear. I thought you're not supposed to like smile or typically. You're... Yeah, I mean, it looks normally... like a school photo. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. It looks like a driver's license photo. Yeah. I don't think she, I don't know if she really understands the gravity of what she did. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> you don't think so? I don't know. With that face. Yeah, she's like, cheese. Doesn't look like she really understands. <laughs> yeah, she like, this very like, cheese it. I think at this point, she's just like, <laughs> mm-hmm. like, you know, you might as well milk it now. Yeah, I guess you know so. What I mean? mm. Damn. It's crazy. What a shame. Oh, what a fucking shame. Elon is still ruining the world. Oh, did I'm really is, pissed about that. Did you guys um apps update? Because I'm getting no. the notifications from X now. Are and you? It, 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 it literally looks like a porn site. Like it looks like a <laughs> porn. Keep saying totally or like does. a dating app or no, something. No, mine says Twitter. Do you have automatic updates turned on? Yeah, I, think so. I don't have them turned on, so I don't oh, want to because yeah. I love the little bird. Yeah. I'm gonna miss that little cute little bird. You know? Uh, yeah, the bird was cute. He killed the bird. There was someone had posted an alternative logo that he should have used that was like an X, but kind of looked like a bird wing. It would have been a nice like. Mm. What is it? A homage, homage. To Twitter. Homage to Twitter. Homage. I think that's what it how is. you say it. Homage. Also, uh, silent H. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's spelled it's with homage. an H. Homage. I didn't know it was spelled with an H. Isn't it H O M H? That's what I thought. I think so. mm, maybe not smarter than a fifth grader. Yeah, where's Twitter on this thing? Let's see if I have the option. Should I update it? Yeah. You want to update it right no. now? You shouldn't. Let's see. Go to the dark side. Oh, um, when you type in Twitter on the app store, it doesn't even show up anymore. So oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. Or when you when you or when you type an X, it doesn't show up. So where the fuck is it on the App Store? The hell? Have you read over Dummy. his whole like plan for no, X? I don't and give a damn. He's trying to make it this whole new way of life. Like there'll be you can do food deliveries on there and ride really? services and if my memory serves me correct, mm-hmm. it's like going to be a bunch of things um banking and like what um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah maybe you guys can look it up like um, what ex- i am not giving my money to elon musk yeah he says the elon future Ma. of x yeah it's just a future state of unlimited interactivity centered in audio video messaging payments baking creating a global marketplace for ideas good services and opportunities he wants to yeah. <clears throat> he wants to take over the world exactly that's the plan <laughs> I wonder what noise it makes when you refresh it. You know how the little before like oh, the yeah. little bird it was like a little tweet. It's kind of like a little soda opening almost. I oh, like that's that. an, is that a new sound or is that the no? One? It, would be, it would make the like popping sound. Yeah, I'll do It'd it right like, now. That was good. That was really good. Want to hear it again? Wait, hold on. Let's hear the actual one. Oh. Yeah. God damn. Elon. <sighs> well, and Twitter. Threads, threads was like a big flop. Wait, yeah. So what's our, our consensus on Threads? It's just like, it feels like Facebook. No, I don't think it's a flop. I just think that they um need to make more like features on it. They need to have a trending page yeah. on it. Because that's yeah. what's that's it what it's like missing. It was like launched too soon. Well, I think, well, they lost like hell of users. Did you see that? Yeah. 
Like more than half the people that signed up like never got on it I again know. after that. I know. I just, I don't know. It's all right. I asked last night. I forgot about this. I asked, are people still using this app? There's 48 replies. Let's see. Kind of on and off. Gets boring, but I'm patient with the process. Still here because it's the only social media without short content. I'm so tired of doom scrolling. I feel that. Loving it more now that they have the following tab. Oh, so they do have a following tab now. Yeah, but I want like a trending tab. Like how Twitter has of, you know, news and anything that's mm-hmm. going on in the world essentially that's what i want yeah we yeah needs more because that's where i get so much news and they're getting rid of the events. um like light look of twitter which i know you okay tell okay. me this is the big fucking discussion to be had are you dark twitter or light twitter or just dark mode or light mode in yeah. general on all your apps dark I, mode forever i need oh, light mode same. I, it gets I'm too shocked dark because you live in the dark I you're like, like a cave woman it. i that's true. I love the dark in life, but I don't know what it is. I th- I don't think I can read it as well. Like dark font against a dark background. I like no, the buddy, really it's like contrast. Font. Oh, did they change the font? I don't know. <laughs> I've always, never used what do you it mean? Like I can't. How would it be dark against dark? I always thought. It, I don't know. I just figured. No, everything look. I've ever used like dark mode on. I, I just what? it's too hard to read. I agree. So you I like, have your you whole like, you phone on light mode. Yeah, yeah I have my whole phone mode. on light mode. Yeah. Your whole phone is like, oh, they changed the font to white. Yeah, it's I always don't been like that. White. I like the really. <laughs> it's always been white. I feel like it's more contrasty, but I don't know. It's well, just they're getting my, rid of it's it. what my eyes prefer. No. Yeah, fuck Elon for that. So you can still have it right now, though. You can still do light mode. No, he says he's going to get rid, rid of, of it. it. Oh, he said it's dumb or something. Oh, he's dumb. It annoys me when people have a dark. <laughs> <laughs> dark mode forever. Dark mode on iMessage. Dark mode on everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people are saying they're still on threads, I guess. Someone said yes because I delete Instagram during the week. Now that is smart. That's a lot of work. I couldn't because of my job, but you delete it during the week and then reinstall it. It's a pain in the ass. And you gotta log, log in. in. Well, it's more than a pain in the ass if it's affecting your mental health, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes Instagram really you get in that scrolling and you start feeling bad. You ever have that? Uh no, not so much on Instagram. I used to get that a lot. Really? Mm-hmm. My Instagram's like pretty decent, I feel. Is it? Yeah. I waste a lot of time on there. I'm not saying it's productive when I'm on there, but I don't usually feel like shitty when I'm on Instagram. I don't really use the scrolling much. I stick to the stories for the most part. Really? Yeah. Do you watch um the shorts or whatever they're called on the reels on Instagram? Not or really. I'm on, I'm on TikTok. I'm on TikTok. The fuck? Oh. Except for I'm kind of annoyed right now because uh, Instagram a lot of times doesn't show me. Like you'll post something and then I feel like I don't see it. You mean TikTok? For, no, Instagram and TikTok too. It's TikTok especially. Really? You post TikToks, I don't see them. And I then know. I'll see them like a week later. I'm like, what the hell is this? That sometimes happens with me for yours too. And I don't get... I saw you're doing the girl dinner last night. Girl, that was days ago that you girl did dinner. that. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. I love girl dinner. Girl dinner. So what does that mean? I'm yeah. having a girl dinner party tonight with my, with my girls. Are you really? really? Yeah. What are you having? Um, Girl dinner. We're having some, um, some nuts. We're having some cheese. Maybe, maybe a little bit of wine. Girl dinner is like a bunch of random snacks put together to make a meal. Yeah. Okay. I see like, that. I would like, rather have a bunch of little hors d'oeuvres or a little like a, a little of everything versus like a lot one of big one meal. thing. Okay. I see. I see. I agree with that. Like like tapas. Almost. Exactly. Mm, yeah. I could live off of tapas. But like I don't give tapas, a, mac and cheese. Exactly. A little mac and cheese. Little tuna sliders. So a little tuna little slider. Mm-hmm. Caesar salad. A bowl of cereal. Mm. A quesadilla. Mm. A, a random pickle. Okay, like some, a random you know, just like pickle. go to your fridge and like pull out like, one some random shit and then make it like yeah, a little meal. That's girl sure. dinner. Okay. Girl dinner. I get it now. Which not to be mistaken because the, then the problem is. TikTok has been doing this bad thing where it's like girl dinner, one nut and one cube See, of cheese. That and was that's my like glorifying mm-hmm. some bad things. Okay, that's yeah. not what girl no, dinner. No, I totally. When I first started seeing the girl dinner stuff, I was a little concerning no, about it. I girl was like, dinner this is, is looking like eating a uh, plenty eating of nothing food. Is girl dinner? No, <laughs> girl dinner is eating plenty of food, just a lot of like random shit put together. Not not like one giant thing, mm-hmm. but it'll be like a bowl of mac and cheese, um, a little quesadilla. Or like a pickle, some slices of turkey, like random shit put together. I see. What was your girl dinner? My girl dinner? Yeah. My girl dinners a lot of times consist of like cheese and crackers. Oh, so good. Mm. Uh, I could literally live off cheese and crackers. We can just live of off cheese. cheese. Same. Goddamn. I pretty much cheese. do. 
uh, pickle. I'll do like a p- few pickle slices, maybe some olives. I want to do that filter you up did some bread. on TikTok right now and see what I get. That's oh, yeah. My girl okay, dinner. do. Do girl dinner right now. All right. Sure. My girl dinner is guacamole. See, Always that's, a yes. That's a good one. Bologna. Ew. Hell no. Who's eating bologna? Hell no. Fake butter. Ew. Uh, like, I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. That's a no. Okay, Fake. let's try this again. Okay. This time I get multi-grain bread. I don't, I don't like You're not this. into that? No, it's too much. Like, and raisins. Hell no, raisins. <laughs> oh, I you love raisins are nasty, dude. Raisins are a disgrace. Stop they are. Stop it. And if, no, they are a disgrace. You guys don't like what I, what I like. If they're <laughs> in a dessert, I am offended. By raisins? Yes. Absolutely. In not. Prunes. I love prunes. Okay, this is a Josh dinner. Josh loves prunes. Prunes are delicious. Sick. Yeah, mm-hmm. they are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love prunes. Espresso. At dinner. No, I have a baby. I got to go to sleep. Okay, one more time. I need a good girl dinner. Lettuce. That depends on what it's with, though. Like, if it's lettuce with some... And ice cubes. <laughs> Okay, and grapes. Okay, this is a dangerous okay, dinner. That's dangerous dinner. That is not. That girl was dinner. danger dinner. One no, more time. Oh, I'm people running don't out of time. Understand what really girl dinner is? Come on, get a good one. Mm, also, why is your phone like curved? <laughs> it's curved. Like your case is curved. This case is a piece of junk. I'm pissed what is about it. it. I don't know. Really I just curved. ordered it. Okay. Well, it doesn't fit. It's correctly. curved. Like, why is it? I don't think you have it for the right phone, buddy. I think you got the wrong one. Really? Yeah, it's well, not because the on. buttons weren't working either. So maybe it's not. It's not on. There's a giant gap right here, dude. <laughs> I thought I have an what iPhone 14. That? I ordered a 14 Pro Max case. Do I not? I thought I don't know wait, what you have, but I'm it doesn't fit. Thing. Oh, sorry. Girl dinner. We should have a segment called Girl Dinner and just eat girl dinners. Yeah, we should. Yeah, I could just have snacks for the rest of my life for yeah. every meal. That's basically what our dinner is today. Yeah. We're literally just bringing a bunch of like little things. Because I get grossed out thing. if I have like too much of one thing. I'm like, ugh, I don't want mm-hmm. any more. I've had enough of that, but I'm still hungry for something different. Holly's like ultimate girl dinner. She, like, could, she does her dinner. favorites. Yeah, she has girl dinners, variety of everything. Her favorite pickles, mm-hmm. of course, guacamole. She loves like spoonfuls of guacamole. Oh, this mm, kid my loves girl. it. And Delicious. she doesn't, I've had some that are like a little spicier and she doesn't even, she loves she's it. Like, she's fine with it. Washed down with some milky. Aww. And then um, <laughs> she likes, she really likes proteins, like steak, chicken, that. Have I she ever that's... tried um, shrimp or anything? Oh my God, love shrimp. Can oh. She loves all the proteins. How about like, sa- oh. can she have salmon yet or no? Yeah, she's had a little bit of salmon. Mm-hmm. I just give her a tiny bit of it. I think like four or five. Damn it. That's what it says. You know. I want to go on girl dinner sushi date with her. I know. Gonna wait till, well, maybe she can have like a California roll. When she's old. And, yeah, I'm going to start her on California roll. She yeah. can have that. Yeah. Or the little shrimp. And that, I want to start her. Yeah. Shrimp oh, yeah. That's what I used to eat when my parents would take us to sushi. Mm-hmm. Even I was like. Mm, I don't hungry, even want to make it a weird thing. Like this is just. Yeah. Like, you're just. Sushi yeah. is a normal thing in our house. Totally. I want her to eat sushi right off the bat. But maybe I don't because then it's going to get expensive. Our bill's going to go up a lot for sushi night. It will take a little while, I think, for her to get used to the fish. No, you don't want this. It's gross. So good. Did your mom ever tell you anything that they didn't want you to have was like medicine or like spicy? No. Mm. Yeah. Really? No. Oh, my parents did. No, my no, no. I can't think of anything. I mean, maybe they. Did. I used to I do it when I nannied too. Like what? Like you don't it? want this. This is my medicine. <laughs> if like, it was like what? fear or something, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> like something I didn't want to share with them. Or no. like this is spicy. Yeah. <laughs> or if it's like sugar and they're not supposed to have it. Anyway, do, we've been rambling a while. Do we have pickles here? That sounds really good right now, actually. I could do like a check? shot of pickle juice. Will you check if there's any pickles? Because I really need some in my life right now. Mm-hmm. That sounds good. So good. Now that we're in the thick of summer, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals to support sunny, active days. And Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. And they can help you fuel up fast with flavorful and nutritious ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track reaching your goals. Ready to feel your best while making the most of your summer adventures? Stick to your wellness goal with premium ready-to-eat meals featuring high-quality ingredients such as broccolini, leeks, and asparagus. Treat yourself to over 34 weekly restaurant-quality options like bruschetta, shrimp risotto, green goddess chicken, and grilled steakhouse filet mignon, ready in just two minutes. Perhaps you're too busy running around during the day to think about lunch? Well, keep your energy up with Lunch To Go. Effortless, wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go. No microwave required. Or maybe you're looking for some more calorie-conscious options this summer. Try delicious, dietitian approved calorie-smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. 
Factor offers delicious, flavor-packed options on the menu each week to fit a variety of lifestyles, from keto to calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and protein plus. Prepared by chefs, each meal has all the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long while meeting your goals. And what's really cool is you can actually round out your meal and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of over 45 add-ons, including breakfast items like the delicious apple cinnamon pancakes, uh, yeah. Or for an easy wellness boost, try refreshing beverage options like cold pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. Now with Factor, you can rest assured you're making a sustainable choice. They offset 100% of their delivery emissions, source 100% renewable electricity for their production sites and offices, and feature sustainably sourced seafood in their meals. So head to factormeals.com slash sesh50 and use code sesh50 to get 50% off. That's code sesh50 at factormeals.com slash sesh50 to get 50% off. Who's here now? Josh is interrupting our show. Josh, come here. Make him do the filter. Make him do girl dinner. Okay. You want to try girl dinner, Josh? Sit down. Have you heard of girl dinner? What's girl dinner? Girl Girl dinner dinner is like... Is like when you eat a a bunch of of smaller things, things, like but a bunch of different things instead of like one big thing. It's not even like possible for me. Okay, what's your girl dinner? You get boxed wine. Ew, Ew, disgusting. uh, Pickles. That's good. That's a good part of girl dinner. And protein shake. Okay, that's good. See, I'll take that. But that sounds like a danger dinner to me. Sounds like I'm gonna puke after dinner. Well, (laughs) if you replace the wine with another one, bread or something. Mm-hmm. Red olives, oh. red olives. I, I don't know. Red mm, olives are what? Yum. Yeah, uh, those are the pudding like, and animal crackers. That's that's a decent girl it. dinner. I'll put the animal crackers in the pudding. Yeah, <laughs> and then just swallow the olives whole. Okay. <laughs> what else? Hitting all ketchup, mm. <laughs> but with what? Raw broccoli. You like that? Mm, I Sicko. love broccoli. and birth control. Perfect. <laughs> that's a danger dinner. Perfect. <laughs> One more. You get. Celery sticks. Love it. You love celery sticks. No. Cucumber Hate slices. It. And salt. That is <laughs> That's a danger, danger dinner. danger dinner. You can't have It's all water. What's right. like your ideal girl dinner? If you had to pick like three small items to be a dinner. Three small items. Like you can have a large quant. Like you can have but as they have much to be of like it as you want. Snacks but it can't be like a steak and potato. Yeah. It's gonna be like a bunch of snacks. Like tapas. At that wine bar we tapas. went to. You would have raid our fridge and just eat three random things. I got prunes for one of mine. You'd like that. Mm. Carrots, ranch. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. one, though. Carrots and ranch is like and one. And cheese or... Yeah, that's good. Pepperoni. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah, that's good girl dinner. Oh, not that's too not bad. bad. That's All not right. too bad. Let's <laughs> interview you. Okay. What else do you have to say? How do you feel that our daughter's turning one this week? I am... Very happy. Happy? Yeah. Do you feel proud of us? We've done good. Aw. Yeah, I'm very proud of us. What do you think? What's the thing you're most proud of? I want to hear from each of you separately. Like as far as the first year of her life. So hard. I'm so proud of so many things. To make one thing. I'm proud that she's like us. (laughs) How do we? (laughs) She's one. (laughs) (laughs) I just know. She tells me. She whispers to me. What are you most proud of yourself for as a dad? No, that's kind of what I meant. Um, probably not being selfish anymore, like putting myself second or right. third behind you, I guess. So <laughs> that's right, mine. baby. You're third. Okay, what are you most <laughs> proud of me for? <laughs> oh, whoa. I'm proud of you for birthing her. I was gonna say like, fucking thank you. <laughs> Cause that was the hardest part, and I literally did nothing when it came to that so you were amazing you, on, you did good sharing though yeah i tried i tried he but you did all out. the hard work no didn't pass out i'm very okay. proud of myself for that you cut the cord i did i cut you the cord watched the whole thing watch the whole Ooh. thing i couldn't even that watch is so it. cute you guys make me want to cry it was amazing it was the best mm. day of my life for sure best I'll day of my life it. too i am proud of us for our teamwork good we team have, yeah Amazing team. I feel like our relationship is better than ever. Or like, and getting on a schedule, like yeah. getting serious about life. Getting our shit together. Getting, getting our shit together. Getting our shit together and acting like adults and mm-hmm. being parents. I mean, that's the yeah. biggest, biggest adjustment is going from being just like young adults with pets and, you know, doing whatever the hell we want every day and 
eating dinner whenever we want and getting up whenever we want. And now mm-hmm. it's like we're a very well-oiled machine, I'd say. We are. Big schedule people now. All right, that's it. We use it. calendars now. That was something Boy, we yeah. never used before. I don't even think we ever opened our calendar prior. Yeah, we have like a family calendar. We have like 30 calendars going. But... I know, dude. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're dismissed. Thank you, babe. Right. Love you. Bye, everyone. You've never sat on. Come watch Lights Out. He sat on here. We did a whole oh, like, yeah, I forgot. advice thing one time. Should do that again sometime. He, okay. Oh, I thought he stepped on our prop. No, we're good. <laughs> All right. We got a bit I of. I was about to cry. <laughs> I was going to oh, cry. Like, Fuck. No, she's <laughs> That'd be safe. bad. Okay, okay. Let's start with some CSI. Florida receptionist accused of stealing over $40,000 from doctor's patients. Dude, I don't know how these people get away with this shit for so long to get so much money. $40,000. Anyway, her name is Angelina Mina. She's a receptionist at McDonald. McDonald. I kind of like her name, Angelina Mina. Angelina, Angelina Mina. Mina. Angelina Mina. Hi, my name is Angelina Mina. Mina. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that really funny? Her middle name should be like Rena Mina. Hello, my name is Angelina Rena Mina. Uh, Angelina Rena Mina. <clears throat> so Anyways, she's the receptionist at McDonald. McDonald Family Eye Care in Winter Springs, Florida. McDonald's. Mm, I another love Florida, McDonald's. Another I could Florida woman. McDonald's right now. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just another so McDonald's hungry. Thing. Anyways, okay. Anyways, she was arrested on Friday, July 21st for allegedly stealing more than $40,000 from dozens of patients. Oopsie. Angelina Rina Mina <laughs> started <laughs> over a year ago on March 11th, 2022. And Angelina Rina Mina's <laughs> boss contacted the police department about a potential fraud case. The Winter Springs Police Department posted. Uh, to their Facebook page saying, according to the business, the receptionist, Angelina Mina Arena, um, was allegedly illegally using patients. Sorry, I just burped. Um, I'm eating <laughs> potato salad. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> ratch. Allegedly illegally using patients' credit card information to commit credit card fraud. And during the investigation, police discovered that Angelina used her own Square account to steal approximately $44,000 from 76 patients who visited the practice. Great. After the 16-month investigation, authorities were able to file charges um, with the state's attorney office and issue an arrest warrant for Angelina. And according to police, um, she was arrested on several charges and was booked into Orange County Jail, where she'll wait to be prosecuted. Angelina Rina Mina. (laughs) Angelina Rina Mina, come here, your court. (laughs) Come here. (laughs) You're being booked, Angelina Rina Mina. The police are looking for Angelina Angelina Rina Mina. (laughs) Breaking news. <laughs> a woman by the name of Angelina. <laughs> I just seriously don't understand how people get away with this stuff for so so long. Like totally. who, who don't they have like an accountant that's like, wait a second, this, this, this ain't out of nuts. Listen here. I'm confused. Wow. I don't know, bro. Like, it's not worth it, people. No. Why are you doing such things? Especially stealing from patients. At least the yeah, last girl terrible. stole from Amazon. Right. But yeah. this person's stealing from real people. Right. Mm-hmm. Taking their card and information down and mm-hmm. They think they're just getting some eye help, getting their vision exam. Yeah. I, oh, not, not like not eye help. vision exam, mm-hmm. would you? Excuse me. I had a vision exam eight months ago. I just don't listen to what they say. <laughs> I say, never mind. You it's know, 2020. I think and your that's vision's it. worse than mine. Can we need to have a vision test on the show and determine. Okay, that's the okay, next Maybe thing next we'll week. Okay, vision test. We know, that right. you, we know you went to the eye doctor because you wear your glasses for a good two days yeah like, <laughs> i know chacon so a new true. parent wears them for literally half a week and then never i never see uh, them again listen i don't like the way they fuck with my makeup and i don't like the way that the light on camera shows in my eyes i know and, guess what I've and been i'll lose seeing. them guess what i've been seeing i wear recently. them i lose them this is what? scary because i was like thinking about lace i could be cool one day <sighs> i keep seeing these fucking stories though of people getting lasik and then something bad happens to their eyes or they lose eyesight and then they take their lives lives because they like Literally, like, go blind. Oh, my God. And it, like, destroys their life. And then they end up unaliving themselves. Isn't that so that scary? That just got really dark. Now I'm like, sorry, I didn't mean to, like... That's but it's really not, fucking sad. I keep seeing things online about it. That, like, apparently it's... I mean, it's not common, but it's, like, not as uncommon as it should be. That apparently LASIK, things will go wrong. There's complications. Like, this one woman, she was a, I think, journalist or reporter on the news... And she was dealing with complications and she literally took her life because she like couldn't see anymore. Jesus. Isn't that so sad? sad? I know. See, that's the thing is I've always thought about LASIK, but I hear such mixed stories. Some people are like, best thing I ever did. My mom did it. Loved it. Did your dad do it? My dad did it, but it only lasted a few years and he didn't want to go do it again. And same same with my stepmom. Mm. Um, But then I'll see people like worst thing ever, painful. Austin's done it. Yeah. And he, he had a good experience, but he had to go for a while. 
Hmm? Because he had to do, I'm pretty sure he did the long, there's like another type of LASIK. I can't remember yeah, what it's called. Yeah, there's different, there's a few different kinds. I think he did do. the one where you had to have like 48 hours of recovery. You no, have to have your yeah. eyes closed no, that's, for a while. No, that's like six days. He didn't do that when he did LASIK. Oh. But you, so with LASIK, you still have I to have so. your eyes closed think, for a while? I, I don't yeah, know. I think, I think it's like a day. I think I remember saying, function. Yeah, I think I remember him well, saying they had like, to like put on like, ha- ha- cap on, like, keep on the little iPads for like a whole day or something like that. See, I just, I see fine. I see fine. I keep my glasses in the car for when I need them, and that's it. Oh my god! I just I looked it up, and I disgusted. What is what? it? I sick. I lie sick. I lazy. What do you mean looked it up? I just looked up the. I want to look at the history, but then a video of uh, the procedure just came up. Oh yeah, they literally. Dude, deliver Dude, Janelle's off part mom of showed us Ugh. the video of her yeah, LASIK they, like, when filmed. How it? old were we? Like I was probably like eleven or so. No, I was. This is when my mom and dad were still married because we watched it at my dad's. I was probably like eight. Yeah, so probably I was like, like ten, maybe yeah. even if that. Yeah, yeah, they filmed it. I'll never like, forget that really video. Really close up, and then they put yeah. it on a VHS. <laughs> and sent it home. She's like, guys, check this yeah, shit out. Like, I'll never forget. Wait, when did she get TV? it? Yeah, a long time ago. Like I, was, like, I remember seeing the seven. little little circle of her eye like being removed off, and, uh, and like, your mom like blinking a ton. And, yeah. Oh my god, well, I'll yeah, never they, forget like, that. Pr- the thing that scarred me is they have to pry your eye like oh. way open with these Eesh. things. I don't like it, and I'm a, I would be afraid of like of like accidentally blinking or like doing something sits. to where I super still. Oh, can you I, just get anesthesia or something? Laughing gas. No, they have to. You, you have to can get like Valium. My mom said that she mm. was like high. I would need a lot she was of still that. Aware. And she said that this, and I've heard this a lot. You can smell Ew. the burning. burning. It yeah, like burning I remember flesh. her saying that to us. That is fucking disgusting. That's foul. That is disgusting. I think I'll just live with the vision that way. I have it. Mm-hmm. This is a relatively new procedure. Um, the first one was in 1978. Yeah, it's not um, that old. And I mean, even from then, it was like, ew. I'm sure it's fine. It was it's still almost 50 years. It's almost, yeah. Brand new. Okay, math whiz. <laughs> smarter than a fifth grader. I am smarter than a fifth grader. Okay, oh, well, I'll calculate exactly how many years. <laughs> it's 50, it's 45. What did, it, what did it say? 78? 78, yeah. All right, let's talk about these next people. Okay. This is so Hit creepy. Me. And this is something that I think about Every time I stay at an Airbnb, because I've seen a lot of stories like this. I'm always be looking around for cameras. And I always feel like I should get one of those devices that like checks for a camera in an Airbnb. Oh, yeah. Have you seen that? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, a couple from Texas, Kaylee Gates and her fiance, Christian Caparo, took a 23 hour road trip to Silver Spring, Maryland in August 2022. So this was last August to visit a Christian's child and book. No, to visit Christian's child. <laughs> oh. To visit Christian's child <laughs> and booked a two-night stay in an Airbnb. So on the first night of their stay, the couple said that they were intimate in the bathroom before lying down to watch a movie and relax. That's when Christian, who installs smoke detectors professionally, noticed a smoke detector in the middle of the ceiling above the bed and another one in the corner of the room, and this started to make him suspicious. Kaylee and Christian then stood on the bed to check out the smoke detector and noticed a hidden camera lens. Fucking freaky. After finding the first camera, they allegedly found an identical one disguised as a smoke detector in the bathroom. Fucking absurd. You can have... um cameras and airbnb like uh in the living common, rooms yeah and common areas but you can't have them in the bathroom and you also have to disclose if they are in mm-hmm. the house yeah mm-hmm. the couple removed one of the cameras they found and then left the airbnb and went to a hotel nearby where they called the police to report what just happened when the maryland police searched the airbnb they found an additional hidden camera in the basement of the house where other B- airbnb renters were staying e- this property is owned and rented out by Christopher J. Goisey, a licensed psychiatric nurse in Maryland. That's scary. That's fucking freaky. He was staying in the master bedroom of the home when police arrived, according to the suit. Christopher denied having any cameras in the house and suggested that it's possible his guest had planted cameras before calling the police. Come on now. My God. One time... Josh and I were staying in an Airbnb that didn't have smoke detectors and we were like what the fuck is this like they were the hole where yeah. they were supposed to be was and it was just missing the yeah. device yeah so we were like what the fuck and we're not staying here there's a bunch of other issues so we left and tried to get a refund and they told Airbnb that we stole the smoke detectors <laughs> <laughs> it was wild oh my god so although he initially consented to the police search he refused to let officers into a bedroom where his twin brother Larry Ew. Boise was staying his brother finally left the room and it was presumed he destroyed the evidence before doing so. 
Kaylee and Christian are seeking $75,000 in damages to address the stress and strain they've experienced. Christopher has 30 days to respond to the lawsuit. Airbnb's camera policy is that you must indicate the presence of all security cameras Mm -hmm. or other recording devices in or around a listing, even if you're not even if they're not turned on or hooked up. Undisclosed security cameras or other recording devices are never permitted. You must always disclose if an active recording is taking place. Oh, it's so creepy. I hate thinking about that so much. And there's many instances of things like this. You got to be really careful when you stay at Airbnbs. Really bothers me. I know. I don't like thinking about it. I got to get more like vigilant about that too because we stay at a lot of Airbnbs and I, I just am not, I don't have an attention to detail like that where I think to look that closely at a smoke alarm or like i would well, i don't never... know how you i don't know how to tell that apart maybe Me i too. should learn i think they do have devices that can detect them too maybe it'd be good to get something like that really mm-hmm. so creepy i know this world's so fucked it's like why have an airbnb if you're that paranoid yeah if you're like paranoid to have people in your house or if you're i mean disgusting like in a bathroom? That's I don't think they were just paranoid. I think they were Creepy. creeping. Yeah. And Dude, who knows where bathroom. they could they could go sell that content online. Exactly. Ew. Okay. This I just had a really disgusting thought. Like, I think that people do this. Like, I think people have like live streams. I saw a movie on it once, so take oh, it no, with a grain of salt. Does like, people happen. have like live streams of like a live house or a room or whatever? Ooh, like uh, what and this, like Big people? Brother? <gasps> kinda. Well, kinda. Mm, big brother starting on Wednesday. Sorry, I said no. Oh, is it? Oh, I think I saw Frankie Grande is going to be on it. No, what? he was. No, oh. he was just they were just doing a promo. Oh, they were. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, random. Uh, but yeah, that's creepy as fuck. If you don't know you're being recorded, that's got to be one of the most. Invasive. Invasive violating. things. Yeah. So violating. Oh. Do we think that it was the brother? I mean, this is complete speculation because like obviously like mm. the brother didn't want to like the police to go in there or anything. Do we think like in like the this? I mean, we don't know that much about the situation. My but, guess is they were in on it together. Yeah, I agree. Yeah fucking weird that's fucking weird so creepy if you guys have been watching our show for a while you know how much i recommend ketamine therapy ketamine did wonders for me at a time where i really needed it i was struggling with anxiety horrible debilitating anxiety even just getting through my recordings was so brutal every little thing that came up in my life i was struggling with i was struggling with depression i was struggling to find you know motivation for anything i never felt happy I had a bunch of unresolved trauma from my past that I needed to get through and ketamine was the solution for me. I am a different person after doing ketamine therapy. I truly mean that. I recommended it to so many family and friends and many of them have found success with ketamine therapy as well. And I'm so excited about our next sponsor, Mind Bloom, because they have made it more accessible for the average person. There is a new tool to improve your mental health at-home ketamine therapy. Mindbloom is the leader in at-home ketamine therapy, having safely helped thousands of people overcome their anxiety and depression. Unlike traditional talk therapy, ketamine works quickly and doesn't have the unpleasant side effects of traditional antidepressants. In a study of over 1,200 Mindbloom clients, 89% reported improvements in their anxiety and depression after only two sessions. And right now, Mindbloom is offering our listeners $100 off your first six-session program when you sign up at mindbloom.com sesh and use promo code sesh. Take the first step and break free from your anxiety and depression with Mindbloom. That's mindbloom.com sesh. Use promo code sesh. I'm really excited to play this game. Are you going to watch Big Brother this year? Um, I, know. I don't know. It's a lot of time. I have a child. <laughs> you watch like full Housewives. Oh, I know. It's just, it gets so, I don't know. The last couple seasons, like I haven't really enjoyed them that much, but I'll try for you. I'll try for you. I know I miss our days of watching it together. Okay. It's never been good well, since that talk- one season. It has. It's been good. You With have- the guy that everybody hates, but I love. Jason. <laughs> no. The, was that his name? The uh circus guy the or? dude that no that was super animated huh? like the first season we watched and he he was like a he came from an old season all stars oh, or something paul paul yeah oh. i always thought he was so entertaining to watch and then people like fucking hate paul no and there's probably a good reason for it i don't know yeah i don't know anything i don't remember remember kevin you got me a fucking cameo kevin oh yeah see that was, that was the season i loved kevin that was the first season and you watched jessica nixon and um cody Co- yeah cody they were like annoying they have like four kids and now. then um what's his face mark and elena i love elena and I still, wa- yeah, I still I like follow Elena. her. Okay, well, th- uh, the seasons are all like, there was one that was really bad that I didn't watch. But like, for the most part, 
they're pretty good. You just have to give it like an you know a few weeks until like actually get going, and then it gets good. Okay, last Janelle. week was good. I just I have a lot of shows I'm trying to watch right now. I'm trying to watch Hijack. Hijack. Okay, well, I'll, you know me. Apple I don't TV. watch shows, so Big Brother is like the greatest thing to happen to me all year. <laughs> okay, I will. You know what? For you, it's when does it start? Wednesday. That's my daughter's birthday. I'll I'll watch it on Thursday. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to watch I'll, like the, the exact try. day it comes I'm out. I'm going to try for you, okay? Just try for like two weeks. Okay. Three weeks. Okay. I, I have some time now that I've finished Platonic. Sydney, that show oh, was yeah. very good. So good. I really liked Platonic. Love Seth Rogen. You would like Platonic. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just funny. like so lighthearted, like really no in-depth plot. It's just funny and light. It's just fun. Okay. Okay. You would All like right. that. I'll watch Big Brother if you try to watch Platonic. They're like short episodes. There's only 10. Have you guys watched... Um, okay. Uh, what's his name? Uh... Bupkis, um, oh, Pete, Pete, Pete Davidson's new show. No, no, it's like a, it's like based like vaguely off like his life and stuff. It's so good. I think it's called a movie Bupkis. That was like that. Well, Bupkis. that was that was uh, the I Staten like Island Bup- something oh. about. Oh, I loved that. No. The King of Staten Island. Yeah. That was a really good movie. Yeah. You would Island. really like this show. Then <laughs> okay, it's called Bupkis. It's on. There's too on many Peacock. shows. I don't have enough time. I get like an hour to two hours of TV time in max nowadays. I used to have so much TV That's time. That's a lot. An hour to two hours a day? That's yeah. one episode of Big but Brother. But I used to b- binge. Like, <laughs> I my TV time started at 7 p.m. and went until one in the morning, two in the morning before. <laughs> now I can't. I would have it on, like, at all times. But now I gotta watch Miss Rachel. And we've been introducing her to Mickey Mouse Club. Why don't you just oh, make I her watch that. Big Brother? <laughs> <laughs> she would honestly be down. It's We so watched good. Um, The Father of the Bride. I love that movie, oh, Father yeah. of the Bride, Steve yeah. Martin. And she, Holly was into it. She watched the whole movie with us. Really? I mean, she was like scooting around yeah. on her little walker and thing, but she kept looking at the screen. She liked that. Mm. Okay, I'm ready to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? So we're playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And what you guys are going to do is... Ooh, Sydney so made a whole board. Yes, first through fifth with a bonus column. Okay, so... One it's, for each grade. Mm-hmm. Oh boy! And then we got a bonusy. Be we do got we, some bonusy at the end. Oh, bonusy! Yes, bonusy. Do we get to pick our category, or yes. do you assign us? Okay. Yes, you I guys see. can pick. Is it more points? Okay, I see. It's more dollars. Oh, we get money. Mm-hmm. So who's paying for this? Handle. <laughs> oh, I am. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think Charlie's actually going to foot the bill for this one. Great. Okay, who's going to start? Let's roll. Oh, well, let's not forget. Corelli made us a beautiful prop today. She's gorgeous. We have a dunce hat for the sesh now. <laughs> with a little sprout coming out of it. It's so ugly. Now, if you don't know what a dunce hat is, this is a real thing. They used to make, I was looking it yeah, up last night. I didn't know. Either bad kids that were not behaved mm-hmm. or kids that were considered slow <gasps> um, developmentally. Oh my God, that's terrible. Isn't that fucked up? That's so bad. Like, imagine the trauma of, like, you get a math question wrong, and they're like, all right, go sit in the back with a dunce hat. You had to, like, sit in the corner, right? Like, yeah. look at the wall or whatever. That's mm-hmm. so Or, like, write on the board again. I will not be bad. I will not be bad. Oh I will God. be good. I will be That's good. That's terrible. Oh, Jesus. it's super traumatic. Um, so we make you. For ourselves. <laughs> Sometimes I think we haven't come far in society, and then I read about things like that. I'm like, you know what? That would never fly today. No. So we can feel a little proud about that. This is very cute, Corels. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Look at this. She's got some, of course, she had to get some bedazzling going on. Of course. Just, oh my God. Where'd we get the sprout from? She has a it's box. Like some of, alfalfa. It's literally a box of extra stuff from the Mile Higher sign that she just has in oh. her office. She's had it forever. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know, Corelli made that Mile Higher sign, the border on it. Mm-hmm. She's she's a woman of many talents, mm-hmm. artistically. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a many. I've, I've What is it? I'm a master. What is it? I'm a, a jack of all traits, but a master of none. That's literally Oh, me. yes. Yes. <laughs> Except that sign is badass that you made. That you Thank put you. That Honestly, like that sign, that is one of the, that is one of my proudest moments. It's so it's good. so good. It's amazing. So okay. proud of you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay. So basically, how this will work is, if you get one wrong, you have to start wearing the dunce hat until the other person fucks up, and then they start wearing it. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, try the little bird. Okay, pass. That's serious. <laughs> <laughs> you put the tongue out. Amazing. Okay. okay. Um, who's gonna go first? Should we do like thinking of a number between one and ten? Yeah. Okay. 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 I guess four. Okay. Uh, that's my lucky number. You bitch. Bad. I'll say eight. Janelle Wednesday number was five. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. You are. <laughs> All right. I get the dunce hat <laughs> first. <laughs> you scared me. I was like, oh. Wait. Okay. Hell okay. no. I'll do. 
I'll do. Hmm. Ah, let's do second grade math. Okay. What's- oh hell. <laughs> well, that's so easy. What time does the clock show? It shows. You know it, Kendall. Hmm. Okay. It shows eight forty. Correct. Woo! Yes. That was so easy. I get some points. It's only second grade, guys. Oh, second grade. Okay, okay. All right, your turn. Okay, I will select um, third grade animals for 800, 600? 600. 600. Okay. Which of the following characteristics do not belong to the kingdom anim- animalia? They have cell walls, or <laughs> B, they have to find their own food. <laughs> um... Doesn't everything have cell walls? No. Okay. <laughs> Kingdom Animalia. They they all have to find their own food. They're not getting served girl dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I I guess I'm gonna have to go with cell walls A. Cause I know they'd be finding their own food. Who's Kendall, no one serving these people? Kendall, put on that hat right now. What? <laughs> they all have cell walls. That's what I said, but they all have to find their own dinners. No. Who's serving them? Their moms. <laughs> like sucking on a nip. The Shh. fuck? Oh, for the babies? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just like animals in general. Did it say baby animals? No, no animals. But... Oh. Kendall, everything has a cell wall. That's why I said that at first. But I figured they had to find their own Put food. Put your damn hat on. <laughs> <laughs> That was stupid. <laughs> Cell walls. <laughs> this is gonna be. Why are you? Can you just take off your headphones? Uh, I just love wearing headphones. I guess <laughs> well, I too can. bad. You gotta put. You gotta put on your damn hat. Okay. Cell walls. <laughs> well. All right. Hit me with fourth grade human body. You want me to read it to you? Yeah. How many types of teeth do humans have? Okay. For that's the first part of this question, and then for an extra point, um, if you can name them. Molars. Well, s- well, how how many do you know? I I have molars, canine incisor. I think incisors are the same. Or incisors, these ones. Incisors. incisors. <laughs> Inci- I think it's incisors. incisors. Yeah. No 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 no. Premolars, molars. They have four. I don't know what these ones are called. The front normal ones. They're premolars, molars, incisors, and I don't know what the regular ones are called. Flatties. <laughs> There's four different types, though. D. Is that correct? Wrong. Fuck. What is it? Three? Is it premolars and molars one? Nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It is. It's just molars. Uh, okay, that's actually not even correct. There's premolars and molars. They literally talked to me about the dentist the other day. Well, here you go. It's fucking lame. <laughs> Okay, fine. That's not true, though. <laughs> I look so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smarter than this. <laughs> the little alfalfa thing at the top makes it so much better. Oh, shit. I think we're all kind of dumb. We're all dumb? Yeah. There's Why? five different types, according to a quick Google search. Oh, what? There's five? Well, there's also... um, What's the ones up front? What are these called? Flatties. Central incisors. Central incisors and then regular incisors are these, or are they canines? So she doesn't get the dunce hat because she got it. But the thing is, there's molars, canines, and incisors or whatever, but there's different types of them. But the, yes. there's three main types. Because there's, there's central, there's canines, or second yeah. molars. Then. We're not dentists. It's, okay. This is a fourth grade question. Okay, I'm going to take fourth grade uh, grammar. Oh, God. Which of the following is a simile? I don't remember what a simile is. Think of the word. Similar. Okay. Oh, no. What are the options? A, as fast as lightning. B, as soon as possible. C, as soon as you can. D, as quickly as you can walk. Bro. I'm going to say A, as fast as lightning. Correct. And that is correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, Isn't that a... Because oh, no, fast right, yeah. and lightning are similar. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Good job, Kendall. Thank you. I'll keep the dunce. Okay, I will take, let's see here. Second grade science. Second grade science. 
State whether the following statement is true or false. Humans can eat every part of a plant. Well, it depends on what type of plant. Some plants you can't eat. False. The fuck? You can't eat every part of a plant. Not every plant is edible for every part. Remember what Julia looked up when we yeah. were camping? Mm-hmm. False. About the salsa. Salsify. Salsify. Salsafras. <laughs> false. B. False. Well, so where we got it said yes. True. Okay. Well, they're idiots. But because you, totally no, because you can't eat every part of the plant. You just can't eat every part of every plant. Mm. So that's false. So, no, no. You, and it's true because you can eat the roots. You can eat the leaves. You can eat the not flowers. Of, not of every plant. The yes, salsify, there's poisonous the things plant, out you there. Can't, yeah. Not of every plant. Well, I agree with Janelle. I think that's I think a false is crap. Okay, okay but false. you can eat every part of a plant, but you just can't eat all plants. No, but no, because some mm-hmm. plants you can't like. You can't eat the pit of a cherry; it has cyanide in it. But you can eat a cherry. But you can eat the pit of an avocado. You can't. No, I don't think you can. <laughs> I love avocado pits, <laughs> steamed, <laughs> real good. So I refuse to accept that. <laughs> I refuse. I, I'm going to back her up. I think that's bullshit. That's crap. Okay, when I, okay, so I'm not going to lie. When I was looking for this question, that's what I kind of thought too. But according to um, teachers.com. Teachers.com is dumb as hell. No offense to whoever created that website. You can't eat every part of the plant. You can and you'll die. Yeah, like, you can. <laughs> yeah, I guess. The technically, you, you could. could. If you're a dunce. Yeah, if you're a dunce. <laughs> I think on. you can take the hat off. Or do you have to keep it no, on you until... keep it on. Okay. okay. It's fine. <laughs> I'll keep it on. So she gets the points for that, I think. Yeah, come on. That's so Are lame. We, I don't know. The question is, can you eat every part of a plant? That's a dumbass question. <laughs> I refuse to accept that this as is... fact. Like, you can eat poison, but you'll die. Right. I mean, I don't understand. You can't eat every type of plant, but you can eat every... You, you can't can eat... eat every part of a cherry plant. You can't eat every part of apple a seeds apple have cyanide plant. too. You can't eat every part of, but you can, as a human, eat every part of a plant of different plants. Yeah, you can also eat dog shit off the ground. So I'm gonna feel very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like what teacher is telling their students you can eat every plant? Every plant That's is a terrible is thing fair to teach game. Students Seriously, actually, it's gonna be dying. Yeah, <laughs> the fuck. I'd be pissed if my student came or my kid came back and was like, "Oh yeah, Miss Frizzle said that you could eat every part of the damn plant." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is the student schooling the teacher right now? I think we're smarter than the teachers. Yeah, they're incorrect. I refuse to accept I mean, that as fact. I mean, I'm going to back to Jill on that. Thank you. Let's make that the call. But, yeah, okay. I mean, tell us in the comments if you think we're wrong. Well, See, the dunce two, knows. <laughs> 600. Even the dunce knows. I mean, really. <laughs> she gets the points. Okay. Come on. You got it. Thank you. All right, I'm going to take fifth grade language arts. Choose the correct pronoun to complete the following sentence. Oh, my God. God, that's fifth grade. <laughs> you want me to read each one? Yeah. Them enjoy playing with the remote controlled car. Them enjoyed playing with the remote controlled car. <laughs> <laughs> they enjoy playing with the remote controlled car. Or him enjoy playing with him the remote. Him enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> the remote they car. be nice. Yes. Good correct. job, Kendall. Let's do math. Fifth grade math. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we have to use your paper here. Find the sum and simplify your answer. Okay, I actually might be able to do this. She's showing her work. I hate it when people were like, it ain't Rick. It ain't Rick. It ain't Rick. It ain't Rick. Oh, God. I'm going to be honest. I like, for the answer for this one, I didn't know how to get it. You had to look it up, Sid? Well, I just, yeah, I just had it there. Okay, so that has to equal. Seven. Time limit reached. D. Wow, you're correct. Hell yeah. Good job, Janet. You can take Thank off the you. dunce hat now. No, she has to keep wearing it until I get one wrong. <laughs> okay, that's so rude. I got a freaking math question, right? I saw it. I thought that's what you yeah, said. Yeah, no, it's true. I'm fine with you taking no, it off. No, it's fine. I'll just keep wearing it. Okay. So it just kind of keeps falling off. Hell yeah. I'm a math whiz, bitch. Let's go. All right. Fractions, baby. What does the bottom left say? Does that say bed slash history? Geo. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> I will do first grade geo slash history. In which state is Antelope Canyon located, referred to as Upper Antelope Canyon or the crack <laughs> and Lower Antelope Canyon or the corkscrew? The fuck? First graders be knowing this? Hell no. <laughs> Landmarks, baby. A, Arizona. B, New Mexico, C, Utah, D, Colorado. I don't think it's here, but I could be wrong. 
Hmm. All those states are very similar. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they all like got the general same concept. <laughs> Hot and deserty. Okay. God damn. Uh, Antelope Canyon. I'm gonna go. Ew, this is not. I'm gonna word. go with Utah. That's my best guess. See, this smells like hot head. <laughs> Ew. Ew, it's your own head. You're smelling there, friend. Okay. Um, no, unfortunately, that is incorrect. Damn it. Hey, a. A, Arizona. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, may I please guess? It's fine. No. Oh, here you go, buddy. Oh, do we have that rule? You could steal. It's fine. Um, I would like to please do science first grade. What are the characteristics of a living thing? A. Breathing air, eating food, growing, and playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> B. Breathing air, drinking water, eating food, growing, reproducing, and changing. Or C. Breathing air, eating food, making friends, and changing. B. What fucking grade is this? First. First. <laughs> so I get where the hell's antelope <laughs> or whatever and she gets this? <laughs> this is some unfair. B. Breathing air, drinking water, eating food, growing, reproducing, and changing. B. Correct. Oh, yeah. Thank My you. God. I will do fifth grade science. Choose the correct answer. Which of the following domains includes the kingdoms, protista, and fungi? Fuck this. Fifth Pro graders don't know this. This is what you learn in like high school. No, this is sixth grade. No, that's definitely like middle school. I didn't learn that shit in high school. Fifth Eucaria grade. or Archaeasia? <laughs> How do you say that? Ar Archaea. Archaea. Archaea and Eucaria. I don't know. <laughs> Eucaria. Eucaria. Mm, I'm going to go with B. I already know what it is. Correct. Yay. Good job. All right. <laughs> what made you go with B? Just took a guess. You know, that's <laughs> half of what school is anyways. 50% chance, you know? Just took a guess, baby. Okay, hit me with um uh I wanna do grammar first grade. Okay, the homophone of no. So in this sentence I forgot about choose. homophones. What the homophone? No. What? No. <laughs> Do you know? Oh, yes. No. Okay, sorry. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I've never even heard of the word homophone in my entire life. What the fuck? I know. I forgot that was a thing. I've I'm, never, I, I don't think I ever remember that. that. I don't think that was around when I was in school. What? <laughs> <Okay, laughs> they weren't invented yet. They weren't invented yet. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't around. No homophones. No it's a, homophones. It's a new no thing. <laughs> As a parent, your top priority is always your child's well being. You want to give them everything they need to grow and thrive both now and in the future. With term life insurance from Fabric by Gerber Life, help protect your family so their future is secure no matter what happens. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. Fabric's new lower prices could mean potentially significant savings over other providers with great quality policies like a million dollars in coverage for less than a dollar a day. And life insurance can have a bad rap for being complicated, but Fabric makes it easy to apply with its seamless digital experience. It's all online and on your time and if you need extra support fabrics team of licensed insurance agents can answer questions along the way it takes less than 10 minutes to apply see your quote then personalize your quote to fit your family's needs you could be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required fabric has partnered with gerber life which is trusted by millions of families like yours for over 50 years and they have over 1600 five-star reviews on trustpilot.com fabric has a 30-day money-back guarantee and you can cancel at any time Fabric was specifically designed to give parents like you affordable term life insurance, plus wills, access to college saving funds, and more, all in an easy online experience. So protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. You can apply in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com slash sesh. That's meetfabric.com slash sesh, M-E-E-T fabric.com slash sesh. Policies issued by Western Southern Life Assurance Company, not available in certain states. Price is subject to underwriting and health questions. Okay, I will do second grade U.S. Capitals. I love U.S. Capitals. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, what is the capital of North Carolina? A, Greensboro. B, Raleigh. C, Dur Durham. Durham. I can't believe I can't say that. <laughs> D, Charlotte. D, Charlotte. 
wrong. What? <laughs> Goddamn. Raleigh, Wait. do you want to steal it? Oh. I was going to, but she said Raleigh. Oh, okay. So ruined it for me. That's Damn it, Sid. <laughs> Damn it. My bad. Yeah, um, Raleigh, buddy. Okay, apparently I'm not good at capitals. That was haven't, one of my strong suits back in the day. Haven't you been to Raleigh? I really like aced the... <laughs> you remember you had to like fill out the whole state and the whole... the Me and my mom made up all these like little tricks for them mm. all. Okay, I want um math for first grade. Identify the fraction model which shows equal parts. A. Yes, that's good. Hell yeah. Math was always... I liked algebra. I liked finding X. Ooh, that I was my hated that. Suit. I never understood why. Oh, I don't get why. I have no idea how, why you would do I that. I hated finding X. I don't know why you would ever do that. I was that. much more into geometry. Okay, I will do uh, third grade... Uh, third grade geography. Okay, Chicago is one of the biggest cities in the USA... Which large body of water with the same name as a state lies near the city? A. Lake Champlain. B. Yellow River. C. Lake M Michigan. And D. Lake this? Ostego. Oh, man. Ostego. I don't know, man. Read the question again. Yeah. Are oh, you want me to read it again? No, no, no. Kendall, read the question again. Yeah. Large body with the same name as a state. Oh, as a state. Oh, Michigan. Thank you. See. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Good job, Kendall. Lake Mish. Lake Michigan. You ever been to Lake Michigan? No. Same. Heard it's pretty. I always think of the commercial. Your story begins at LakeMichigan.com. I've never seen that. Okay. Hit me with third grade math. I want to go hard. No, the, the, the bottom one. Math. A thousand. Uh, oh, 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 that's fine. It's 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 too late. If you select a ball without looking, how likely is it that you will pick a red one? Okay, see, this is a trick question because you can't see all the balls in the basket. So it's unlikely that you would pick a red one. But if they're saying, if you, but if that's the only balls and it's impossible, I'm going to go with C, unlikely, because there's balls underneath the other ones. That is, oh, no, I'm sorry, that is wrong. So, the, see, again, I'm going to fight these teachers. <laughs> Can the, I steal it? It can't be impossible. It's not impossible. You don't know what's under there in the basket. Could it's be impossible. a bunch of red balls down there. Can I steal it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you no. no stealing in this game? Because I, I feel like it, you're going to eliminate and like pretty much get it always if you do a steal. That's true. Okay, so no stealing. But right, you want to no guess. Stealing. It's impossible. It's literally it's, not. It is possible. I do agree with you. That's See? some bullshit. I keep getting these stupid ones. You said unlikely. I said unlikely. It's not impossible. It's so annoying. It's B. Probable. It's what? B? Wait, so the answer is actually B. Yeah. Probable. <laughs> How is that probable that, that you get is, a red okay. one? Uh-uh. That is absolutely incorrect. <laughs> <She's getting pissed. laughs> Fuck no. That is such a lie. Why would it be probable? All you see is blue and yellow. Yeah, what? That is, take that up with the dean status. <laughs> yeah, no, uh -huh. seriously, I'd spit in the teacher's face if she told me <laughs> that I got that that's wrong. Bullshit. That's <laughs> such trash. Probable? It, no. <laughs> that has to be like, where'd you get these from? Idiot Someone Zara. was high on that. <laughs> Idiot Zara. Absolutely not. There is no <laughs> probable for the red one. <laughs> are we? Uh, are we calling it a? Because she said she said unlikely. I think the answer would would have been impossible. That would have been my vote. This is lame as fuck. But you're probable. right because it could have been possible. You don't know what's underneath yeah, the basket. The fuck? I honestly kind of agree with that too. That's so lame. Can you give like? Come on. Let me. I deserve a point. I kind of think she does too. Come on now. I'm keep getting these dumb ones. These people who are making these games are high as balls. Yeah, seriously. That that's bad. I think I think she gets I think she gets a point. Come on. Okay. We can give her the point. Thank you. How many can Okay, you, I'll keep the hat on. There's 200. Right. God, what a load of crap. All right, Kendall, you can go. It's your turn, buddy. I am going to take um culture for a 1000 point second grade culture. What is the what official the hell? <laughs> <laughs> That's I didn't bullshit. know what to name it, okay? <laughs> All right. What is the official state snack of Illinois? <laughs> Popcorn, potato chips, cornbread, or almonds? Mm, I feel like potatoes would be Idaho, right? Potato chips. Okay, are you thinking because of Idaho spuds? 
<sighs> yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. They love potatoes up there. Mm-hmm. But this Illinois uh, cornbread, that's a little more. Nah, I'm going to say, you know, Chicago Bears at the game, get the popcorn. I'm going to say popcorn for A. That's correct. Good job. Hey, hey. that was a thousand dollars. Yes. Thousand dollars. Good job. Thousand Kendall. bucks for that. OK, hit me with. Geography. But- Fourth grade. Oh, this is going to be really bad. I'm so bad at geography, you guys. I thought Brazil was in Europe till I was a junior in high school. Oh. That's insane. Junior year. <laughs> like Brazil of all the places. How did you, how were you told? Did you realize um, that on your own or? Uh, no, I was doing my ADHD learning disability test and that was one of the questions. <laughs> and I said, Europe. And then the guy just, he didn't say anything, obviously, because he was testing me. He goes, <laughs> he was like, fucking idiot. He wrote down idiot. And then, no, I'm just kidding. And then um, when we were going over my results, he was like, yeah, she's below average on some things. And my dad asked for an example. And he was like, well, for one, she thought Brazil was in Europe. And my mom literally turned to me and just looked at me like, oh my God. Honey. Okay. Anyways, what is the question? Okay. So uh, in this photo that you're looking at, mm-hmm. Um, you're going to name what it is. So a blank is a flat, elevated landform that rises sharply above adjacent land on at least one side. That is a plateau. Correct. I thought that was called a butte. A butte is a smaller one. Mm-hmm. Oh, a smaller one? Plateaus are bigger. How can we tell from that picture what size it is? The butte wasn't an option on there anyways. Bullshit. Sorry. Festival. I will keep wearing the hat, I guess. Okay. Look cute. You should go out in public like that. It's so cute, mm-hmm. the cute little girl. Mm-hmm. Cute little girl. Okay, go ahead. Pick your pick your thing. Okay, I'm gonna go with fourth grade language arts for a thousand. I gotta go hard at this point. Okay, so the blank, the preposition used in the sentence. Oh, <gasps> sorry, I have a fun skill. Um, oh yeah, pu- can, we can need to pause for Janelle's skill. I'm all, no, I'll do it after because I don't want to give it away. Oh shit, so pick it right. The puppies are hiding among the bushes. What is the preposition? I don't really get the question. Like, out of those words, which one's the preposition? Correct. Yeah. Hiding. Incorrect. That's a verb. Oh, it's among. Nope. Damn it. Yeah. Aboard, about, above, across, after, against, along, among, around, at, before, behind, below, beneath, beside, between, beyond, Damn. but, by, concerning, down, during, except for, from, in, inside, into, like, near, of, off, on, out, outside, over, past, since, through, throughout, to, toward, underneath, until, up, upon, <laughs> with, within, without. <laughs> wow. Damn, I totally grade, knew that. Forget. Why do you say hiding? That's a verb. Just stupid. Dunce. Dunce. <laughs> 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 I'm stupid. Okay, okay. Um, I will do. Mm, let's see. <clears throat> I will do third grade math. I'm gonna go hard on this. <sighs> I'm scared. <laughs> God damn, that's so unfair. <laughs> Write a multiplication sentence for addition statement. <gasps> that is such bullshit. Oh, it's fucking awesome. A. Five times five is 25. Five plus five plus five plus five plus five is also 25. <laughs> A. Correct. Hell yeah. That is so unfair. Ooh, I got a thousand points for that. Good for me. You're doming. What's this? What's the score at this point? Um, Janelle is winning by a landslide. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Janelle. <laughs> It's like you got the brains in this family. <laughs> okay, but hit the geography. See, I yeah. will not get that. I suck. I'm not good at geography either. Yeah, you are. You are very good at geography, I feel like. No. I always thought you were good at, like, geography. <laughs> at, like, geography. At, like, geog- okay, and you're very I'll good do... at history. There should have been a history one. Yeah, I would have done well You're very history. good at history. I okay. I do not. I'll do the do har- the second, the thousand point ge- geography. I've got nothing to lose at this point. Yeah, you got this. Come on. Oh, this is, like, history. Um, which goddess is the capital of Greece named after? Aphrodite, B. Artemis, C. Athena, or D. Alphia? Aphia. Aphia, sorry. I thought that was an L. Aphia. I don't know the capital of Greece. Come on. You know it. Yes, you do. Do I? Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. It's like... Think of Hercules. My sister just said off camera. You got this. Come on. Okay, I'm going to go with D. Can I steal it? I thought we were stealing this game. Damn it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. It's not. 
No. Oh, can I guess again for half the points? Yes. Yes. Special yeah. accommodation for the loser. Okay. Yeah. Um, you get a dunce accommodation. <laughs> I'll go with Artemis B. That's my best guess. I don't know. No. Athens. Well, yeah. Athena. Athena. Oh, duh. Unce. I thought it was one of those names, and I was thinking like, no. Wait, <laughs> my God! <laughs> I thought it, I didn't realize it was. The capital named I after. thought it was actually that name. The capital? Mm-hmm. Like, I thought it was, like, Athena or Aphrodite or... But, but you still Ath- Of course, Athens. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was stupid as fuck. Okay, I really deserve this hat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's so bad. <laughs> oh, my God. That was really funny. Okay, hit me with geography, fifth grade. This is about to... See, this is about to be bad. What is the world's longest river? Oh, bullshit. A, Nile. <laughs> no. B, Ganges, C, Amazon, D, Yang, Yangtze's. I can't, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> the Nile? No. What? It's not? It's the Amazon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Fuck. See, I, I never knew. But I thought the Nile I never the- knew. <laughs> <laughs> I think at one point the Nile is the widest, though. There's something like that. I yeah. could be l- really bullshit. There's something about the Nile. All right, There's something no about it. You know? There's just not There's the something about the Nile. I'll do third grade math. Or that's not an option. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do I need to have the dunce hat. I will. Oh, okay. Yay. You get a break from it. Ew, it smells like hair. <laughs> Stop smelling it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sicko. <laughs> okay, I will do um, third grade. Language Actually, arts. I'll do first grade math. Oh, come on, you got this. Find the missing number. Blank tens equals 71s. Seven. Yes, correct. <laughs> well, hey. Well, hey. That Good was job. impressive. 400. You're catching up. You're catching up. I actually up. loved working with those little number cubes. Oh, I love like, those. The tens and the mm-hmm. blocks. Yep. It was very good for a visual it was fun. person like myself. Yes, I agree, 100%. Okay, um... I'll do language arts, third grade. The preposition used in the sentence. Jenny's name was called before Mario's name. Before. Yes, that's correct. Yay, I love prepositions. I'll do second grade, language arts. The noun in the given sentence. The waves crashed peacefully. The waves. waves. Are you kidding me? Wait. Uh, oh, sorry. No, you're right. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I was like, wait, how dumb we The yes. waves. Waves. Yes, that's correct. Good job, okay. Kendall. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Last one for me is math, then fourth grade. Find the area of the given rectangle. One side is eight inches, the other is four inches. Eight times four is 32. A. Correct. Woo. All right. Moving on to the bonus. Now these get a little more tricky. Bonus Jonas. God, I'm not as dumb as I thought. Still pretty dumb though. Okay. I will take um mm, Let me get eighth grade animals. <laughs> you mean ninth grade animals? Oh yeah, okay. sure. <laughs> Don't need glasses. <laughs> Okay, one <gasps> owl oh God, pellet this. may pellet may contain bones, fur, and feathers. True. True. Did you ever dissect pellets at yep. school? I, I loved, loved it. doing it was that. Really fun. It was yeah. so fun. <laughs> Super fun. Owls are the coolest animal in the world. They really are. Did you know that owls are monogamous? They stay with one partner their whole life. Really? Aren't most, yeah. I think most birds are monogamous. Really? Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, because don't they like like bind uh, their mates? doves and yeah. or doves and like swans only have one for mate. as long as they live. Oh, that's sweet. I know. Eight hundred. Where Charles? Get up. Okay, I'll do, um, hmm. Give me 10th grade math, baby. I'm feeling feisty. Wow, okay. Solve the quadratic times two plus 10 times Box. equals Those X. That's X. Oh, X. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so you're looking for X. X2 plus 10X equals negative 25. Oh, <laughs> thank God I'm not doing this. Oh, actually, I think I know this. Wait, what is it? PEMDAS. Parentheses, multiplication. Oh, yeah. PEMDAS, right? Fuck. 
Remember that shit about foiling? That's when what? I really gave up on math. And they're like, about well, you have to foil. It's like, the Foil. fuck is foiling? Yeah. I never foiled anything. In algebra, that was a thing. You were good at algebra. I don't remember Foil. foiling, honey. That wasn't taught well, in my school. I was taught foiling. And I about <laughs> quit school at that point. <laughs> What's your best guess? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on now. Okay, fucking settle down. I think I, think I can she's actually hitting do the this. time limit. No, I think I can really do this. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I remember now. All um, right, I'm starting the Jeopardy song. No, don't. That'll distract me. In my head, I'll do it. That's not in your head, Festival. Get out of here. <laughs> can I tell her? Can I give you one clue and yes. see if that's what you're doing? Yes. No clues. Yes. Uh, you got one clue. No. <laughs> She's way ahead. She doesn't need clues. You got one clue. No. Two. You had a not clue. For this. Yep. Go ahead. Hit me with a clue. Sydney, don't give it no, away. I'm not, I can't give you a clue. Why? Because that's bullshit. It's not bullshit. You're winning by a landslide. <laughs> Only the loser gets clues. <laughs> In Christ. <laughs> okay, it's either so nine of ten times nine times nine of ten is nine of one hundred plus um okay, so it's not it's how about we that. both try and then we both submit a guess, okay? Yeah. Before like the first person submits and then okay. I can give you guys the clue then for this then. No, all it's right. even so you can rearrange. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Rearrange. They have to be the same oh, one, oh, too. Oh, 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 oh. One. <laughs> it's got to be D. Yeah, you're correct. It's D? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, good job. God. So I just got a thousand points. Fuck yeah, baby. Let's you deserve go. that. That was some good work. Thank you. I've tried really hard. Good work. Look at my, fr- I've shown my work. <laughs> I possibly could. That is pathetic. Very good. Man, I used to be so good at those. Okay, I'm going to take um, eighth grade geography. Which country am I? My capital is Quito. I'm slightly smaller than the size of Nevada, and my official language is Spanish. A, Peru. B, Colombia. C, Ecuador. D, Argentina. I don't fucking know. Mm, You got this. I'm going to guess Peru, A. Um, No, that's incorrect. Damn it. Okay. (laughs) Do I get a second guess for half the points? Yeah. Sure, yeah, go for it. Mm, Argentina, D. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, honey. Oh, yeah, Peru, they don't speak Spanish. No, they do. They, they do, do they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's huge, though. It's Peru's a huge giant. country. Peru's an enormous uh, country. Actually, fuck. all th- three of these are humongous countries. Except for one. Except for Ecuador? Correct. Okay, Um, I will do... <clears throat> Isn't it Kendall's hat? She just guessed. I get the hat. Oh, right, sorry. I will do sixth grade math. I'm on a math roll. Let's go. Writing numbers in expanded form. It's just like writing them like the word? No. Right. You have to write this in an ex- That's expanded easy. form. Kendall was just talking about how she liked to do this. Yeah. Oh. I don't get it. So I write this. So just verbally say it. 7,389. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's what I thought it was too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not expanded form. No, so it's like it's like multiplying in addition. <laughs> Wait, what? Multiplying in addition? <laughs> what do you mean multiplying in addition? You would write it out as a math problem, essentially. So like to get oh, this number. Yes. So there's a bunch of different answers it could be. No. So 7,000 plus 300 plus 80 plus 9? Yeah. That's basically what we just said. So no, you said seven thousand three hundred and eighty-nine. That's not so the there's answer. Seven thousand. So okay. So in order to get this number, you have one thousand, 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 three hundred, three hundred, three hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's actually literally it. That's yeah. it. But, but you don't get of, it because you got the first one wrong. Instead of saying no, like, you get multiple tries. It. No, <laughs> not with Ecuador, the and then with you in Argentina, and then with you in Peru, no. and then with you with Colombia. <laughs> no, I didn't get anything for that. <laughs> Does she get like, maybe she should get half the points for that, for her second try. Expanded form? Why would you ever, why would you ever <laughs> do that? That's stupid. If anything, know. it should be 7,000, like you said, 380, and then nine. Yeah, so, so it's seven times 1,000 plus three times 100. 
Okay. Well, and that's just eight, dumb. I swear they make kids do ten. dumb things yeah, that they don't dumb. need to do. Seriously, that's so There's dumb. There's so many better things we could have kids yeah. do. I don't know when mm. you'd ever use this in life. Big waste. Do you remember, um, what was the one that was like, it was 400. cosine, sine? Oh, fuck all that. Oh. What was that? That's, that's, um, algebra? Like trig. No, that's trig. That's oh. triggering. X. That's triggering. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, wrong. triggering. That's, that's <laughs> absolutely correct. Mm. I did like trig better than calc though fuck that you know what i calc fucking thing. hate statistics fuck i actually statistics. liked statistics i did no. good i got a b in because statistics. it was because it was visual right yep. it was more visual i, I was better at statistics, statistics and geography i hated calc geography geometry geography geometry <laughs> yeah that one <laughs> <laughs> but trig was easier for me than calc was because of the visual aspect all right uh whose turn is it kendall's all, all right, right give me that last bonus seventh grade language arts let's go baby Personification. The strong wind blank oh my, my umbrella. A slipped. B snatched. Oh my god. C, this is danced. bonus. D hit. I need this coming B, out of the snatched. Womb. Yes. That's correct. <laughs> that was a bonus question. Yeah, well, that was a that sixth was grade question, bullshit. right? I had to solve for X and she got snatched her umbrella. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Okay. Well, who? Good game, guys. Who? What's the final score? I'm adding up right now. Give me just a moment. Oh man, you creamed me. It Way never said that again. <laughs> Why? I don't, I don't need to hear that. Final scores. Okay. Janelle, sixty-two hundred points. Kendall, dollars. She writes it down. <laughs> Kendall, fifty-two hundred. Ooh, uh, wow! So it was I close. did better than I it thought. Was close. It was closer than I thought. I only got a thousand more than you. Good job. All right. So I'm gonna give me the hot glue. I'm gonna glue this to my head. <laughs> you are the dunce of the day. <laughs> Dunce, dunce of the, of the day, day, Kendall Ray. Kendall Ray, the dunce of the day. Oh, no. Day. I love this hat. I think it's fun. I think we need even harder questions, though. Well, we could do uh, six through 12. Mm. I mean, mm. history. First through fifth. But next is... time, I think Sydney needs to use a Jeff Fox worthy accent. Who's that? He's the host of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Well, how mm. does he talk? He talks like talks this. Like this. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> You got a southern accent, I think. Uh, I never really watched Thought You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. I, I reckon, never watched that in my life. I reckon never watched and Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. People Jeff's still, doing something. He's an OnlyFans now. Jeff oh. has an OnlyFans? <laughs> Just kidding. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, that's really interesting. All right, guys, that's going to be it for day. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the dunce has spoken. That's it for day. <laughs> <laughs> it for that scavern. What? You never heard that? No. What is that? If we're Das Cavern. What's that? I don't know. It's a thing on the internet. Anyway, um, what the hell? It was great hanging out with you guys. That's going to be it for today's sesh. We'll be back next week. But until then, keep taking your mind a mile higher, as Kendall's about to say. <laughs> <laughs> did I fuck up the outro again? No, but you almost did. But yeah, you did. I was going to say, until the next. Nope. We'll see the... you on the next sesh. Right. But until then, keep it fresh. <laughs> keep the hat on for the rest of the week. <laughs>